in terms of, of, of how my own feelings about stories were cultivated, the most important book I ever read, uh, for those of you who might know it, was Bruno, Bruno Bettelheim's The Uses of Enchantment. And it describes the meaning and importance of fairy tales. And in doing so, brilliantly articulates why some stories work, why they're impactful, why some stay relevant for hundreds of years, and others blow away like an old paper. And he talks about stories that allow us and the child to become familiar with the content of our unconscious through spinning out daydreams, ruminating, rearranging, and fantasizing about story elements in response to unconscious pressures. He talks about the impotence of stories that fail to reflect our turbulent inner lives, our primitive drives, and violent emotions. Bettelheim says that Freud's prescription is that only by struggling courageously against what seems like overwhelming odds can man succeed in bringing meaning, meaning out of his existence. That sounds like a movie. Um, that sounds like most of my favorite movies, whether it be The Wizard of Oz or um, uh, Lawrence of Arabia. Or as the writer Jim Harrison said, a myth is news that's still news. The Battleheim analysis helps explain to me why some stories have power and others don't. It's not a paint-by-numbers formula, but it made me very mindful of how different sports stories speak to the fears and aspirations of our inner life. 